Welcome to Jira Agile. I'm Trainer Laurie. What is Jira Agile? Within the Jira tool, we'll be looking at the Agile options, including understanding the board interface, tips for using Agile Scrum Board, and burndown charts and gadgets. It was formerly called Greenhopper, but now it's called Jira Agile. In Agile, you can look at your boards. The keyboard shortcut is to the G for Go To and then A for Agile. When you click the drop down, you'll see the board that you created recently. Of course, we created our board under Preparing for Agile, so look at that tutorial on how to create the board. Click the board name to open it. Because it's a brand new board, this is what the interface looks like. Over on the left will be versions. Click that if you want to see versions. Of course, we don't have any other versions since it's brand new. Next is Epics and All Issues. To create an epic, click the Create Epic button. The project name and the issue type are already filled in. You just have to give it an epic name and a summary, and then click Create. And now under the All Issues, you can see the new epic. The backlog would be all of your issues. Of course, this is brand new, so we don't have any issues yet. And we can create a sprint right there. Remember, a sprint is a time box collection of issues. So when I click the Sprint button, it says plan a sprint by dragging the sprint footer down below some issues. So just drag your sprint footer there down to where the issues are. Of course, there are no issues right now. Or you can click an issue and drag it up to the sprint. Either way, it moves the issues into the sprint. Over on the right is Tutorial, and at the very bottom you'll see uh, links to more information. But they talk about the Plan Mode, Work Mode, and Report Mode, and you'll see that up at the top. So we are in Plan Mode right now. When we have a complete sprint, you can see all the uh, issues and the epics on the left side, and you can see there's far more than one. In the middle will be all the issues, and there's a lot of shorthand images. For example, the images in the top right corner show whether it started, whether it's in progress or whether it's done. And you'll see some images or icons down the left side, and that shows what kind of an issue it is. For example, support, bug, story, feature, improvement, or task. Next to that is the priority, and you can see it's got low, medium, critical, and high. If you click an issue, you'll get even more details. And another way to get to details is just type the T. And you can see that some of the details here that we, we can't make out are also over here. For example, global pins is the epic and 3.2.0 is the fixed version, etc. So, but then it has more information and you can scroll down for even more. Under work mode, you can see that the issues have been divided into four sections. These are uh, called swim lanes or columns. Because they're uh, vertical, they're called columns. And this is new, ready for development, in progress, and done. So you can see based on how that issue is, where is it in, in the sprint. If you want to hide the header, that's also known as presentation mode, uh, then uh, just hit Z and that uh, hides the header so that you have more room or real estate for your swim lanes and your columns. To manage the boards, Click on Boards, Manage Boards, and then choose your board that you want to configure. And you have some options there. Uh, the configuration options on the left and in the middle what the options are. So let's say we want to configure our columns. So we click Columns and you can see that we have used the Agile Simplified Workflow. That means that there are only three things that you can do. There's To Do, In Progress, and Done. And those are already built in. In Kanban, there's four, and there's Backlog, Selected for Development, In Progress, and Done. So that's the difference between Scrum and Kanban in the simplified workflow. Remember, Scrum is based on a sprint or time boxed time frame in which to get all the work done, and Kanban is open-ended. But you can still add a column. You can see here they've added a lot of columns. Of course, they did not use the Agile simplified workflow, but even if you did, you can still add a column. The column will be one of three categories. It'll be uh, new, complete, or in progress. Let's look at some column shortcuts. So here is my, uh, my columns in my uh, swim lanes, essentially. So if I want to move it to the next column, my cursor, then I just hit N. If I want to go to the previous column, I hit P. 
If I want to send one up to the top, S to send and then T for the top. Let's look at what an actual swim lane looks like. This allows us to group our uh, columns in the areas that make sense to us. For example, I can see all of my uh, issues for a story, for a query, for an assignee, for an epic, or I can show no swim lanes at all. This is autosaved, so the queries will not be lost, so that's the good thing. So now you can see this has a swim lane, and here's the swim lane, and this is a story, and it shows the subtasks below each of them. And then here's another one, and the subtasks below. So that's what a swim lane is for grouping. And up on, under board, I can choose to expand all swim lanes or collapse all swim lanes. If I collapse them, then I'll only see the swim lanes with none of the details under it. So I can go right to the story that I care about. And that would be the minus key. The minus key will toggle all the swim lanes back and forth if I want to show or hide them. Under report mode, the first one that you'll see, and the most important, is the burn down chart to show how are the issues progressing during that sprint. You can choose which sprint as well if you want to see a, a previous sprint. Next, we'd go to sprint report. A sprint report is to understand work completed and excessive scope. Next would be the control chart, and this is to help determine future performance. You can see there's issues. There's the, the issues and the cluster of issues. You can see that's a bigger green. And then you can see the average in red and the rolling average in blue. You can also see the standard deviation. This whole area is standard deviation. The velocity chart tracks the work completed. And you can see it is in comparison to the commitment. So you can see, did I overcommit? Uh, did I undercommit? What makes sense for next time? Now we have some gadgets that you can put on your dashboard. And uh, Agile, and they're all, uh, you look them up under the word Agile first. So in this case, it's Agile Sprint Health. And you can have that right on your dashboard so that whenever you open up Jira, you'll be able to see immediately how the sprint is doing. Agile Sprint Burndown is another good one because you want to see the velocity and how, how quickly you're getting things done. The Agile Days remaining in the sprint to remind you that there's only nine days remaining in our three-week sprint. Go to Dashboards, Manage Dashboards, and then create a new dashboard. Give it a name, and a description is not a bad idea, and you can choose to start from a blank dashboard or a system dashboard. So if you like the system dashboard and you just want to add some gadgets on the side, that's fine. You can also choose to allow other people to have access to it. Now it has the name of my dashboard, and I click it, and it says, what gadget would you like? And so I can choose the gadgets that I want. Remember, all the Agile ones start with the word Agile. You also need to choose the setup details. So for example, when is the refresh interval? And do you want to show the sprint name, etc. You can also choose to change the color of them, or if you need to, you can delete it altogether. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to the Trainer Laurie channel and click like if you liked it. Thank you.